What's going on everybody? This is Maurice with Cruise and Couple and today I want to go over uh, an update in reference to the COVID-19 coronavirus outbreak situation here in Maryland as well as to let you guys know uh, what I plan on doing here within the next 90 days. Stay tuned. <music> channel you will find fitness family fun as well as food um, so if that's something that you're into definitely consider subscribing hitting the notification bell as well and liking this video for more future content so right now I want to dive straight into uh, what's going on with Maryland in the COVID-19 situation currently we have over 18,100 cases here in Maryland um, that number uh, saw its deadliest uh, day of increase of deaths, uh, which was 74 people within the last uh, 24 hours, the worst single day digit uh, number that we've had, I would say double digit uh, day that we've had. Um, it's truly disturbing um, in reference to that because, you know, from what I can see, I know a lot of people, a lot of families and communities are practicing social distancing. Um, a lot of them are teleworking, but for whatever reason, there's a lot of people that are not uh, adhering to this. Um, there's a lot of community transmission in reference to this. Um, so, you know, I can't strongly urge people enough to, you know, please stay home. Um, I know that the president put out his guidelines with his task force in reference to governors reopening their governments. The governors are trying to do their part with testing and, you know, adhering and you know, lessening the rules and restrictions as far as for their personnel, but you can't make everyone happy. You have people protesting everywhere. Um, you've got, you know, pros and cons to both situations. So I'm not gonna dive into that piece. Um, so I'm not definitely trying to start a battle with anyone. So um, just however you feel, whether strongly for, you know, the government reopening or for a, you know, shorter time frame in reference to uh, having your government, you know, take a break, take a pause, and you know, continue on is totally up to you. Um, you definitely feel and do what's comfortable for you and your family. Also, um, what I want to mention is that uh, in the next 90 days, I do plan on beginning uh, P90X. Um, this is a program that I've done once before, uh, back in 2009 to 2010, uh, when I was deployed on my second deployment to Iraq at Camp Basra. Um, I did it with another uh, administrative NCO, one of my soldiers, as well as our logistics NCO. Um, it was definitely a eye-opening experience. Uh, when you see Tony Horton, who created this program back in 2005, um, this guy calls, you know, the, the people that work out with him kids because, you know, he's a little bit older, but, you know, the way that this dude moves and his strength levels is just, you know, insane. So I can see why he... Uh, does that. If you're not familiar with far as with P90X and Beach Body and those things that nature, I'll throw a card and then, you know provide that information there as well as maybe a link down below in the comment section uh, so that way you can check it out. Um, so I do plan on doing that for the next 90 days, which will put me completing this around the last week of July. Um, we have a trip, a 10 year vow renewal that we are going to support two of our closest friends. Uh, in Sandals Ochi in September. So we're super excited about that. You know, we definitely want to dial in um, and get things together prior to that uh, time frame. So um, definitely excited. Um, like I said, I've done it once before, but you know, just to do it again is going to be something uh, interesting to do. The final piece to that, what I'm going to look into doing is going to be starting the keto diet or ketogenic diet. Um, I've heard a lot of pros and cons of reference to this. Um, it's definitely something that I want to try. I've done a uh, paleo diet for a period of over 30 days or so. Um, and this is definitely something that I want to look into. Hold on one second. What's up, honey bun? A white piece of paper? Yes. Okay, hold on. There you go. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Love you. Oh my gosh. Close the door. Sorry about that. So, uh, keto diet. So with the keto diet, um, you are essentially telling your body, hey, use fat instead of carbs for your source of uh, energy. So 
It is a high fat secondary protein, uh, low in carb uh, diet that you have to transition into. So that's gonna be the biggest piece, cutting out the extra sugars um, and those different pieces of the pie. If I don't meal prep, then I know I'm gonna fall off the bandwagon. So what I'm doing right now, um, I went ahead and meal prepped my lunch and dinner. Uh, yesterday for what I'm going to be doing for the week I'm going to do a kale citrus salad uh, for lunch uh, which is pretty good and then I'm going to do a pork tenderloin with Brussels sprouts um, for dinner I'm definitely looking forward to it um, got mixed feelings you know same thing for lunch for five days same thing for dinner you know for five days but it's gonna help me save money it's gonna keep me consistent, it's gonna keep me on track as far as for what I wanna do. And like I said, you know, P90X is no joke, so I need to make sure that I have enough fuel in the tank um, in order to do that. And I'll have healthy snacks throughout the day, chopped walnuts and things of that nature. So um, it's, it's gonna be a, a track, you know, I'm gonna do the classic. Um, I believe my wife is gonna do the lean portion. So she's gonna have her updates. I'm gonna have my updates in reference to it. So I definitely hope that you guys follow along in reference to that. So. Um, especially me being on shift and not able to just stay home in quarantine, me being in the military, I still have to go into work. Um, we do practice social distancing when I don't have my whole shop in at one time. So it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting journey here as well. Um, saving my leave days for, you know, September, uh, to take as well as the, uh, secretary of the, uh, army, uh, sector army or sector. Uh, approved us to carry over more than 60 days of leave uh, due to the COVID-19 situation and us not being able to uh, take all of our leave accordingly because at the end of the fiscal year, which is 30 September, you have to only have 60 days on the books for leave um, or you lose it. Um, you can't cash it in unless you're doing a tour continuation or, you know, you're, you know, ETS in and retiring out. So that's a whole different, you know, road, but I'm not any of those boats. So I'm definitely not trying to lose any. Um, and now with this new uh, directive, I get to carry over more than 60 days of leave, which right now has 67 days books and we get two and a half days per uh, per month. So um, I'll go ahead and uh, link below, uh, like I said, as far as the links to Beachbody, uh, some information that I found in reference to the keto diet, um, as well as to the Baltimore Sun, where I reference the numbers for the COVID-19 situation here in Maryland. I'm ready for all of this to get done. How many of you guys are ready for your next cruise? Whether it's in July when the cruise lines open back up, whether it's December, whether it's, you know, between, you know, first quarter next year, January to March, you know, I love to hear what you guys' plans are. What cruise ship are you taking? How long are you going? Are you bringing the kids? Are you bringing the whole expanded family? Leave a comment below and let me know, you know, what do you guys plan on doing? to alter what we've got going on right now with the cruise situation and the cruise lines. Um, definitely leave that comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, we're actually looking at a few now. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if we're, you know, gonna cross paths any, or if you guys are, you know, even interested in maybe doing a group cruise uh, sometime in 2021 or maybe 2022 and this all, you know, blows over. Maybe a four or set, you know, four to seven day cruise where we all get together, uh, have fun, you know, fun in the sun and just, you know, have a ball, you know, post COVID, you know, do a COVID cruise, you know, we call it CC, you know, COVID recovery cruise. That's going to be it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you're new here, please like, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything else. For you guys returning back, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm also looking into some new uh, electronic devices to uh, boost my production with this channel. Um, as well as uh, providing some extra content, whether it be via uh, a patron or some other things that I've got planned. Um, I can't do right now because of the travel restrictions with COVID, um, but I am trying to posture, now that I'm about five years out from a possible retirement, I'm trying to posture myself into another career field. So I definitely want to bring you guys along for that journey as well if i can so i'll definitely keep you abreast of what's going on there this is maurice with cruiser couple thank you guys so much for stopping by again and i'll catch you guys next time thanks